Let's talk about a uh, next news item. Let's talk about Open Text because their CEO, uh, Mark Burr. Baranche, am I pronouncing that right? How do you pronounce Baranche. it? Baranche. Baranche, okay. Called out IBM's cognitive learning engine for its closed ecosystem of deployment and development and urged enterprises to instead invest in his company's future cognitive analytics technology. Now, he made the case for OpenText's artificial intelligence-based predictive analytics engine to be called Magellan over IBM Watson during his keynote speech in Waterloo, Ontario-based Enterprise Information Management Company's 2016 Enterprise World Conference. That's Ooh. a mouthful for <laughs> sure. Now he said, quote, our path on software is pure openness, open standards and open algorithms. IBM's platform is closed. All right, Scott, what do you think of this? Actually kind of a funny story to say, I mean, going after IBM, just because IBM's not with them, I think, right? Well, I think that's that's what we were saying before, is I think the funny thing here is, you know, OpenText has a really large partnership with SAP. Um, they have a decent partnership with Oracle. Mm -hmm. They build a lot of their platform on Oracle Park. Um, with Microsoft, the one that they, the big one, the big name that they don't have a relationship with is IBM. IBM. So, so let's, let's go after out. IBM. <laughs> um, no, but I think also, you know, IBM has Watson. And look, I think the thing that, Watson, unfortunately, is most known for is playing Jeopardy and chess, right? I, say, I mean, Watson like, hasn't really done anything other than, like you said, I Jeopardy, think that's all I even much from. to the dismay of many folks within IBM. I mean, I, I know folks who have taken positions over at IBM who were basically going to help and lead the strategy forward for Watson and have been pretty disappointed at the budget they've been given and at the emphasis the company has actually placed internally. Although marketing, it's been lovely marketing. Yeah. And, and, and I think that Mark is jealous of that marketing and so Mark wants to do some marketing as well. And I think that's what <laughs> this is. Um, because, you know, we don't typically look to open text to be the innovative, you know, developers of new software. They typically buy software. Sit on it, milk it. Yes, yeah. um, you know, and, and I think that they have done some nice things with some of the software that they've acquired, but they're not exactly known for kind of leading the era. Now, if I'm on the rosy side of things, Mark last year, even at a big analyst event that I was at, talked about, you know, how essentially he wants um, OpenText's core platform to essentially serve that, you know, enterprise information management is in his mind the kind of the new ERP, that basically you should get all the stuff from one vendor. Of course, someone's going to say that. Of course. That being said, there's actually some, there, there's some, there's some good thinking behind that. And certainly cognitive computing is, I do believe, is part of the future. And predictive analytics and stuff. And especially when you're dealing with a company's information and all of their informa information assets, I think certainly being able to have the capabilities of smart, you know, and cognitive computing is certainly, um, uh, is certainly compelling. Whether Magellan right now is just you know talk hype, where that's going to go, what they're going to build on that platform, I don't really know. The openness stuff, I think that's pretty funny coming from them. But you know wh whatever. But I, I think it's just a really good way to kind of stir up a crowd and say us too. And to be honest, they're, it, it's probably as great as Watson is going to be because again, Watson hasn't been put to much use. I, I would love to see though the use cases come from them about how they actually are putting a Magellan or a Watson to use to really kind of move us forward in this information age. Definitely.